Hi, I'm Sausan Gad. Uh, I'm representing Egypt Parallel Constitution here. My name is Manzul Asal. I'm the Deputy Director of the Peace Research Institute at the University of Khartoum. My name is Dov Shinar. Uh, I'm a professor of communications and politics at Hadassah Academic College in Jerusalem, Israel. I'm Cindy Chungong and I work with Search for Common Ground in their West and Central Africa office. My name is Ethan Zuckerman. Uh, I direct the Center for Civic Media, which is the host of the Build Peace event. Hi, I'm Rodrigo Davis, one of the organizers of Build Peace 2014. We're here to bring uh, peace building practitioners and technologists together to think about how we can put communities back together. It's fascinating because the, the technology is a neutral platform, so people are able to discuss without fighting and then summarizing complex ideas without getting lost in the details. Working in South Sudan, we have limited access to technology, and so we were coming at it for very much a peace building, people to people approach that was seeking to incorporate more elements of technology, and others uh, were able to come at it from a much more uh, sophisticated uh, perspective, which was interesting for us to see. Uh, maybe there's elements of, of what they're doing that we can incorporate into our work. When we kicked our company off, the big hurdles were about understanding how to do the job well. We started working a lot of um, media work around uh, peace building, and we thought that you know if we just covered the top that people in conflict zones wanted to read about in their own media, that we would you know, help them solve problems locally. And we discovered that you know, it sounds nice, but you've got to be much, much more rigorous than that. You've got to really understand the kinds of problems people are trying to solve and the kinds of information that you can use, uh, you can provide them to help them solve those problems. So it's been about you know, rigor in, a, in quite an abstract field. So our interest in this kind of dialogue is around how do you take uh, something as, as powerful as the technologies that are being shared and ensure that that deepens the engagement between the local actors and the external actors, um, allowing local actors to drive the process rather than uh, for the process to be driven by external actors with external interests. It seems to me that there's a lot of different people here about a lot of different aspects of peace. And that's exciting, but you have to figure out how to use that information. And information does not build an understanding. So what you want to do is you want to pair technology and information with processes that allow people to understand what that information means for them, for their organizations, and fundamentally for the communities that they want to change. Technology is not a magic bullet in this space. Uh, it's a tool and we have to figure out what we want to use it for and we have to figure out how we want to use it. So the, the big project we're working on now, it's called uh, Friend Me for Peace and it's kind of uh, the idea around it, it's uh, connecting people through social media, uh, through Facebook and connecting Israeli at least with one Palestinian and uh, connecting Palestinian with at least one Israeli on their Facebook feed. The idea is to make connection between the people so we can really start to have a conversation. Build peace. 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 Build peace.